So for the last few years, I've been working on this series, which, for lack of a better name, each image has been called Landscape with Houses, number one through, and there are eight now, so I'm probably going to shoot four or five more. And they were, to a large extent, a response to the mortgage crisis and my rediscovery as a result of the suburbs, kind of between uh, New York City and where I travel to in Columbia County, further north. I wanted to make work that responded to this crisis, this event, but also that um, reflected the changes I'd seen in um, suburbia or exurbia architecturally um, since I last spent time in that kind of environment. I looked at the places as kind of signifying a, I want to say, revenge of the postmodern. Now that postmodernism has kind of receded as a value, I guess, um, and modernism has, was kind of reborn or rediscovered in the 90s, um, <clears throat> what's happened on the popular front is very different. There really isn't a popular return to modernism in the suburbs so much. There is, there is, to a certain extent, a kind of comfortable modernism that many people embrace, but at the same time, um, what I found are neighborhoods <clears throat> with a great deal of stylistic variety that people would choose, kind of could pick and choose their own historical style and build it one next to the other in a kind of arbitrary fashion. So you find these neighborhoods that are just filled with visual chaos, I guess. <laughs> but it was fascinating to me to see that. And um, <clears throat> they're not planned communities. They're ad hoc, uh, grassroots kind of developments, I guess. And so that's what I wanted to reflect in some of the construction.